Xene Blade is the deadliest. Yo guys, this game is against Huey in Low Masters MMR. I went Conqueror, Triple Haste with Nimbus and Ignite and Flash. We go Axiom, Profane and Grudge. This build I think is probably the best in the current patch. The only problem is that you will lack damage or 1v1 potential. But you have a lot of skirmish and teamfight power so I think it's currently the best. Also after that you can go Edge of Night or Sundered or Shojin, whichever you really want. And yeah, that's basically the build. Let's see how this game went. So level 1 against Wei, it's a classic Zed versus Mage matchup where we want to play kind of safe. Just standing on our backline minions hoping that he would use a spell. But in this specific game, the Wei is kind of a noob so he's just hitting the minions as fast as he can kind of. And I'm pretty much just chilling. Right there, I think I was like reading my chat or something because I was just standing still. Um, but yeah. Like when you think about these waves, you can see that, well, the minion wave is probably going to crash after this one here, which means that Hui is going to get level 2 first, but that means I'll be able to get level 3 first. Um, so if he crashes these two waves, then all the minions will die to the tower. And after that, the next wave will be closer to my side of the lane. So I'll be able to walk up and quickly use Q and E and get level 3 first. And that's what happens in every single matchup if they crash the first two waves. But if they... Uh, if they're able to crash three waves, then you should go for level four first, which means you'd have to get the full next wave, so the fourth wave, after the cannon, and then you'd get level four. But you can do that because the wave will bounce quite heavily back towards him. And that's basically what I'm trying to say is you will always have a chance to get a level advantage on your opponent that is a mage or ranged champion, as long as you play safe and you make sure you stay in XP range. Right here, Z um, Yi did gank, but I would have got my level up first if I just hit the minions instead. And then I take a bad all-in trade. Um, I mean, I knew Jarvan was there, I guess, because Yi did an invade, but I thought he would just farm. But either way, I, it was a bad trade because I missed the cannon, and I missed some experience as well, I think. So when you trade or you poke someone when the wave is on your side of the lane, you want to make sure it's a short trade, otherwise you'll miss too many CS or minions or XP. And that's just something to keep in mind. Right here, he's, you know, pulling the wave and that's fine. I'm thinking I have Ignite. I don't have TP, so I need to stay anyways and make sure this wave crashes. Even if I die and I get level 4 thinking I can use my level 4 advantage. And I'm just outside of his auto attack range or my auto attack range. And he flashes away and he kills me. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But then he dies to the minions, I think, which is really lucky because he dies right there. And he has TP. I have Ignite. And I got a good recall from this. I can get my pickaxe as well. I'm quite chilling. And even though he has TP, he's missing a lot of minions because the death timer is quite long. And he teleports, but he missed so many minions. And yeah, I mean, it's very important to also look for a good teleport. Or not teleport, a good recall against the mages. Uh, when you have ignite, it's usually really hard to come by. Your first recall is usually always scuffed. But in this case, we got kind of lucky. But yeah, that's kind of the first few minutes against Huey. So I already came back to lane and then I got poked out again. And then I recalled and I have a Brutalizer now. So that's pretty fine. We're about to hit level 6. And I'm thinking about how to all in him. I notice he's kind of low mana. So I can do a poke combo and wait until he's just above 100 mana. Right there, he used that spell. So I Q and I ult. And the reason why I wait for that is because I know that he's either going to choose between using his fear or his ult. And if he wants to kill me, he would have to use ult. So I just assumed that he would. And he used his ult, so he couldn't fear me straight away. And then I run him down. By the time he had mana for his fear, he was already dead. And we kill him like that, which is quite lucky. We shove the next wave and start to get some more advantage. I want to show you guys a combo that you can use against Hui when he has no flash, especially. And if he has flash, you need to be a bit more careful because if he's very good, you might die. But either way, the combo is you walk up, you use WE and then you ult, and then you take the W straight away and you use your Qs right after, and then you just run him down. So the whole logic behind the combo is the way will usually throw their fear behind them as soon as you ult them. And, you know, the animation on his spell right there has a bit of a timer, so it's kind of hard for him to time it extremely correctly. So when you take your W, it's very likely you'll be able to dodge it unless he just he throws it at your W. But most ways throw it behind them, so most of the time the combo will work. And yeah, I think it's very good to use against Hui. 
And also Varus comes to mind. When Varus has ult, it's pretty good because they usually just miss their spells. Right here, I'm coming back to lane. I see Nautilus is ganking, but then I make a mistake of using my W too early. I should save my W for his fear because he's end up, he ends up getting a bunch of distance close to his tower. I see Jarvan, but then I just ult anyways. <laughs> a W outside of his tower range to use my Qs as well. And then luckily Jarvan didn't have his E, I think. He must have used it on the wraiths. So I'm like, oh, lucky me because I survive. So I base and I get Tiamat and I come back to lane. And I want to show you guys something. When you have three grubs and it's the second round of grubs, you kind of want to make sure you get them. So usually I would just go to lane and push the next wave and not care. But I'm actually helping my team. <laughs> and I just get an assist on Darius. And we see Leona, so just trying to take the grubs. And I think it's very important to try your best to get as many grubs as you can. Because with six grubs, you can really, really do a lot in the mid game when it comes to taking towers. If you guys seen my other videos, you would probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, grubs are very, very good. As I'm running back to lane, my Gragas is getting caught mid. But I'm just running and I'm hoping that I can get a freebie. I steal it from the Gragas. I'm so happy. So as I'm shoving bot, my team ends up dying. And Wei is following me, so... I just want to kind of try and maybe catch him. Unfortunately, I can't. And the weirdest thing is that Yi is randomly taking Herald, even though everyone died around him. So I'm like, okay, well, Yi is going to die as well. But then the enemy team just runs mid and they don't know that he's on Herald. <laughs> Which is like so weird if you guys saw how my team died. But we get the Herald and I'm pinging him not to go in because it's like really bad. And uh, he just runs in and dies. So I take Herald and I just run away. Actually, I thought maybe I can go in, but I was like, yeah, there's no way. And we get away, we get the Herald. But then I'm like, well, actually, let me just stay. If Jarvan is recalling or someone, I'll just go in like this. And then he lives with 1 HP, but I can E the Leona for my W back. And then I just flash WQ and take my ult shadow. So right here, as I leave base, I'm thinking about where to go. And then I ping the tier 2 tower in bot lane because we already have the tier 2 in top lane down. And these towers are really good to take. Unfortunately, Yi runs it down top and also Gragas runs it down here by face checking Huey. And I know my only option is to try and kill the Huey quickly. And now we have six grubs, so I know that I'm always, almost always going to go for the tower when I have six grubs and I kill the person in the side lane. So even though the enemies are taking Baron now, it's just minute 20, you know, Baron's just spawned, so they shouldn't have enough damage, is what I'm thinking, because Huey is dead as well. So we take the tower quickly with the grubs, then we walk mid. You know, take some minions here and then keep going. We run all the way up. My Ziggs and Nautilus were alive as well, which is key so that they could stall. And Leona dies to Varen and Ziggs gets the kill. I kill this Darius, but I need to be very careful. You know, taking it nice and slow because he could maybe kill me with his stacked passive. And then Jin gets away. And I think we go for Baron. So I take blue, we go for Baron, and I make a blunder. So as we're taking Baron, I tank too much damage, first of all. Um, and then Gragas ults the way in, and I just go in willy-nilly without thinking. But he had Zonyas, and he fears me, and he kills me, so if I just played it slower, then it would have been much better. I also don't think Gragas should have used his ult to hit him in. I think Gragas should hold ult for Jarvan, because now he could possibly steal it, but luckily, <laughs> luckily we get the Baron, and it's fine. But I shouldn't use my WW like that, and I should just play a lot safer when I'm lower HP, especially because I had a 1,000 gold bounty so something i forgot to mention is that i go three points into e and then max w second in this game and i've been doing it and i feel like it's quite good because i'm level 15 now and i have a max w which is nice for this fight as i'll show you we just use our w our gin uh, our ziggs is dead so we alt we w we e the jarvan or profane e the leona get my w to w the gin and then kill leona take my alt shadow and then take the little quadra kill and, I mean, yeah, getting the W resets is really, really nice. Um, I think level 15 to 18 is a bit longer. Well, I guess from 16 to 17 is quite a lot of XP. And 17 to 18 is even more. So, it's uh, it's just a small thing. And then we flash in trying to get the pentakill. And then I have to ult. Because I can ult again with my Axiom. It's so broken. And we just die for the penta. But yeah, we do a little zoom in on the camera as well. And that is the end of this game. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found something useful. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. In